Okay, my people, how are you guys doing? Long time no see. My name is Dr. Chidi. I welcome you to our channel after a very long time. If today is your first time, don't forget to um, leave us a comment after you watch this video, but make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so that whenever we post a new video, you will get a notification. Now, there's a funny thing about this video I'm doing now. Actually, somebody said, um, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they are trying to camouflage under their right up, but they're talking about you know um, people posting videos and trying to make money online. But you see, it is what it is. This video I'm making right now is definitely going to get me some money, but I'm also going to talk to people and I'm going to to reach out to someone, teach something, uh, express my own feelings. It's it, in internet is free. Everybody can do that, but so be careful with this video now if you post this video if you watch this video i'm making money there's nothing you can do about it so if you're the kind of person who you don't like people making money online through their content then you should stop watching the video right now but whether you do that or not content creation has come to stay and i will actually advise you to go ahead and get a channel Go ahead, just be on, be, on, be on social media, even if you don't want to monetize it. Just go ahead and be on social media. That is where we are right now. There was a time when we were using um, uh, well, pho phonogram and <laughs> all those kind of things. Now we're using social media. Don't go and uh, uh, leave yourself in the dark ages, okay? There's nothing bad about social media. It is just like any other thing. A knife is good. When you put it to good news, if you use a knife to kill someone, then it becomes bad. If you use uh, a gun to shoot someone, it becomes bad. I don't like rumor mongering. I don't like people who panda fake news, especially all these news kits that they do now that confuses people. I don't like it. So there are bad people. There are people who use social media wrongly, but then there are the good ones like us who make money <laughs> with social media, and we're also social activists, okay? The, many, the making money part, I don't want to be humble about it or be shy about it. No, I make money through social media. They are, it's one of my streams of income. I have multiple streams of income. I have so many companies. I have so many things that I do that, that uh, and I make money. I, I have money. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> God has blessed me. It's not my fault. I also work hard. So if you work, you go chop. That's why I have a workshop. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to the serious business for today. Um, today is the 29th of, of May. Okay. And then on the 30th of May, it's going to be the Biafra War Remembrance Day. And I know so many World Ebo Congress and so many other people have been calling for the federal government to make that day a Remembrance Day. Not just for Biafra, but for the whole of Nigeria and everyone that lost their lives the Biafra uh, and Nigeria Civil War. Uh, it should be a time for them to remember and uh, reminisce over that, that whole thing. But it's kind of funny because on a time and a day when we should be talking about remembering where we're coming from and positioning ourselves to become better in future, it is this period that the Nigerian government is bringing out a new national anthem. Have you seen the new national anthem? Have you seen the new Nigerian national anthem? I'm going to play it and then we'll continue. Listen. Nigeria, we held you Our own Canadian land No talent or petita In brotherhood we stand Nigeria, tall and proud To serve our sovereign motherland Our flag shall be our symbol
Okay, my people, how are you guys doing? Long time no see. My name is Dr. Chidi. I welcome you to our channel after a very long time. If today is your first time, don't forget to um, leave us a comment after you watch this video, but make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so that whenever we post a new video, you will get a notification. Now, there's a funny thing about this video I'm doing now. Actually, somebody said, um, um, I don't know. <laughs> They're trying to camouflage under their right up. But I'm talking about, you know, um, people posting videos and trying to make money online. But you see, it is what it is. This video I'm making right now is definitely going to get me some money. But I'm also going to talk to people and I'm going to, to reach out to someone, teach something, uh, express my own feelings. It's, it, in the internet, it's free. Everybody can do that. But so be careful with this video now if you post this video if you watch this video i'm making money there's nothing you can do about it so if you're the kind of person who you don't like people making money online through their content then you should stop watching the video right now but whether you do that or not content creation has come to stay and i will actually advise you to go ahead and get a channel Go ahead, just be on, be, on, be on social media, even if you don't want to monetize it. Just go ahead and be on social media. That is where we are right now. There was a time when we were using um, uh, well, pho phonogram and <laughs> all those kind of things. Now we're using social media. Don't go and uh, uh, leave yourself in the dark ages, okay? There's nothing bad about social media. It is just like any other thing. A knife is good. When you put it to good news, if you use a knife to kill someone, then it becomes bad. If you use uh, a gun to shoot someone, it becomes bad. I don't like rumor mongering. I don't like people who panda fake news, especially all these news kits that they do now that confuses people. I don't like it. So there are bad people. There are people who use social media wrongly, but then there are the good ones like us who make money <laughs> with social media, and we're also social activists, okay? The, many, the making money part, I don't want to be humble about it or be shy about it. No, I make money through social media. They are, it's one of my streams of income. I have multiple streams of income. I have so many companies. I have so many things that I do that, that uh, and I make money. I, I have money. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> God has blessed me. It's not my fault. I also work hard. So if you work, you go chop. That's why I have a workshop. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to the serious business for today. Um, today is the 29th of, of May. Okay. And then on the 30th of May, it's going to be the Biafran War Remembrance Day. And I know so many Wadibu Congress and so many other people have been calling for the federal government to make that day a Remembrance Day. Not just for Biafra, but for the whole of Nigeria and everybody that lost their lives the Biafran uh, and Nigeria Civil War. That it should be a time for them to remember and uh, reminisce over that, that whole thing. But it's kind of funny because on a time and a day when we should be talking about remembering where we're coming from and positioning ourselves to become better in future, it is this period that the Nigerian government is bringing out a new national anthem. Have you seen the new national anthem? Have you seen the new Nigerian national anthem? I'm going to play it and I will continue. Listen. Did you hear that? What do you think about it? Please put it in the comment section. Can you imagine you go for a football competition, you go for any sports competition, they played national anthem of the other countries, and then they played one <laughs> they played one for Nigeria. How would people feel about it? Look at how long the thing is. I don't understand. And when we you see for some time I've not been talking because like my friend said, I can't come and kill myself. A lot of people that I spoke to who are people who talk on, on, on online, who make videos, who make content, who create content, who are activists. Everybody is kind of frustrated with the people of Nigeria. They're like, yeah, yes, now they're getting what they deserve. They're getting what they voted for, even though they did not vote for it. But you can't force people to react. When they are feeling something, they are the ones that will react. Not you, because sometimes people ask you, did we ask you? Did we beg you? So you have to be careful. Now we're waiting for the next thing that will happen. But in the meantime, 
this is what Nigeria has as its own national anthem. Like, this is the biggest problem we have right now. The biggest problem we have in Nigeria, the reason for the kidnapping, the reason for the killing, the reason for the abduction, the reason for everything that is going on in Nigeria is, is because of our national anthem. <laughs> The reason why the dollar, <laughs> the reason why the dollar is rising against the naira is because of our national anthem. It's, I'm telling you, it is because of the national anthem. That is the reason why the dollar is. I told you for the last time, the reason why the naira was falling is because they were spraying. You know, when you're spraying naira, when there was Bob Risky and the uh, Kubana chief priest, when they are spraying money. The naira will be falling. So as it falls on the ground, it's making a naira to fall. So they now arrested people and said, nobody should spray money again. But all of a sudden, the naira refused to climb up. It just sat down <laughs> like one very fat man. It refused to rise up. It just sitting down there. Even after they arrested people, the naira is not going anywhere. Still sitting down there. Everything they've tried. So this time around, they decided that they should change the national anthem and make it the old thing that it was. Not just that they took it back. They, they literally are taking us back. And you, you blame people like me when I say that Nigeria has moved back from where we're coming. Look at the government is taking us back. Taking us back to the old national anthem. It's not me. It is the Agbadorians, it is Tinubu himself that took us right back to where we started. And you're blaming me. I beg Joe, don't blame me now. Eh? Kilowi, Kilowi, Ogini. <laughs> anyway, it's funny, but it's not funny. Again, at this period, when we should be focusing on the important things and thinking about how do we move forward, even though we told you we're not moving anywhere. Should be I told you? <laughs> Why are you asking me, Chidi? Talk about moving forward. Did I tell you that when you that when, when you enter the bus, <laughs> that the driver put it in reverse? We're showing you the hand. We say this vehicle is in reverse, so come out. Remember when I did that analogy? I did a, I, I did a, I did a broadcast and I said, hey, this Nigerian motto. No, make you not enter that bus. If you see a bus that does not have steering, that does not have engine or whatever, why would you enter it? The driver is telling you to enter. We told you to leave. He said, no, Chidi, let us start moving. Then as we are moving, we'll not figure out a way to fix the problem. That's where we are right now. You don't know how to fix the problem. So, I don't know what to tell you. The bus is in reverse. They are taking you back to 1960. To give you the national anthem that you had in 1960. Come on. Eh? I see how they did it. Just before we knew what was happening. Who composed that? Is that the best we could come up with? Nigeria that has all these talented young people. Young people. She people told you to take it back. Not, see people like me. See we're not the old. See me. Why head don't fly everywhere? We are, we, are, we are taking. We are going off the stage. You, you guys. I don't know if you're thinking about coming and taking over. I don't know what you're thinking about taking back your country. But look at the talents we have. Look at David Olu. David Olu, look at Flavor even. Look at look at look at Olamide. Look at look at uh, Whiskey. Look at oh, look at Bonaboy. Look at the talents that we have. Look at the ladies. Look at look at uh, Tiwa Savage. Look at uh, 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 Simi. Look at all of this. All of all of this uh, beautiful. Um, uh, um, Afrobeat artists, and we are singing this kind of song as our national anthem. It's a big shame to us. But as we're talking about national anthem, let me pause and talk about the military. Did you hear what they did in Banex Plaza? Did you see? You see me? I, I, I'm not. I, I I like to say this without without being misunderstood. I am not tribalistic in the way I deal uh, with, with people in life. But I don't know if it's safe for you to say that I'm a tribalist. I'm a nationalist, but I'm a tribalist. Where tribalist for me means somebody who understands his tribe, somebody who is proud of his tribe, somebody who promotes his tribe. 
I promote every union, every organization, every association I find myself in. My problem is that some associations I find myself in, <laughs> when you begin to act, when you begin to talk, when you begin to do some things, people begin to, to, to what, 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 they begin to be afraid of, they begin to suspect you. People would rather just, and I'm learning that, so just leave them alone. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that I promote my people. I care about my people. I'm an Igbo man to the core. I'm a Biafran. And so in as much as I find myself a Biafran trapped inside the Nigerian contraption, because Nigeria is a contraption. We've said that tons, tons of times. I've done videos about it. We were not part of this country. The citizenry did not create this country. We were not part of the constitution. One Lord Blue guy uh, gave us, asked the girlfriend to give us a name, and she gave us Nigeria, which is a nigger area. Uh, do you understand? And that's what we've been answering. So it's about time, the first thing they should change is change the name of the country, if they're serious, not to change national anthem. What, was, what does it do? And you know why you know that this government is so dumb? Go online and see the comments about the national anthem. See that nobody likes it. But let me leave that one alone and talk about the military. You see what they did in, in Banks Plaza? That is just a clear affront on the Igbo race. Why do I say this? Even though there are so many people that uh, trade in Banks Plaza, majority of the people there are Igbo men and, uh, and women traders. I remember those days, those days before you had that computer village there, the people changing money in Abuja, they used to stay around the mosque. Just in open, these are people changing money, not legal business, changing currency. They did not start arresting them or agreeing that that was illegal business till so many years ago when the dollar started, uh, uh, when the Naira was be misbehaving seriously against the dollar. Then they went and started ar arresting all those malams. But in those days, they would sit comfortably on the road in the open in the open air not afraid of everybody or anybody doing their business but the Igbo chaps who are selling phone will have to go under the bridge around the mosque that's where they will be hiding to do their business but guess what on the top will pack the biggest luxurious vehicles because that is the only place you will go and unlock your iPhone, unlock any kind of phone that is locked, any kind of computer that is that is uh, broken, any kind of phone that was spoiled, you came and fix it in Computer Village by those Igbo boys under the bridge. And of course, there are so many other tribes there, but predominantly Igbo people. But do you know that down the road, one day, FCT decided that they will come and drive those boys away. And they drove them away from under the bridge where they were not disturbing anybody. After they had cleared the place, they had made that place popular. They drove them out of that place. Did they drive the malams that were, you know, doing their business on the top, more comfortable, more spacious? Did they drive them away? No, they left them there. And you tell me it's not marginalization. You tell me it's not tribalism. Abby, I'm coming. Banex Plaza, the military had one small confrontation with an army man who was actually off duty. When you're off duty, you're not supposed to come and do things with your uniform. You change. You're now not that you're no longer a military person, but you're an off duty person. So whatever happens to you, uh, you should you, you should be responsible. They didn't send you there on official duty. Anyway, I'll leave, uh, I'll leave them to finish their investigation before we before we talk, before people say, Chidi, you're spreading fake news. Somebody <laughs> they just picked my just pick my file this morning, but I refuse I refuse to be to be disturbed. Anyway, let me go ahead to show you. Since the military really, really wants us to to discuss about uh, what they are doing to civilians. And uh, this is not any security breach, but somebody's going to say, Oh, Chidi, what you're doing is security No, it's not security breach. This is not a secret. This is something that is done in the open. Something that is done clearly in the open. I'm going to try 
I don't know what I should do. Maybe I should um, put this to 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 slide or to scroll. If I can do it, I do it. If not, I'm just gonna read it so you guys hear the list of identified JTF military checkpoints involving extortions and humiliation of road users in Southeast Zone. These people are the people who are supposed to be providing protection. But I've traveled around Nigeria from my days of school to my days of youth service. There is no other part of the country that is as policed as the southeastern zone of Nigeria. I don't know why. There is no other period where you have policemen on the road extorting people than during December along that Lagos to the east, Lagos Enugu Road. That is where Lagos Port Harcourt Expressway, all along that road, every less than one kilometer you have every uniformed caricature on that road from military to police to civil defense to road safety to even custom even immigration <laughs> immigration is on, on on the on on the on the road in the southeast but let me read for you just listen listen with me it's a long read though. so i remember if you don't want to 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 make money for cheating Stop watching though, because anyhow, anyhow, the video will still make money. <laughs> Whether you watch it or not, the video will still make money. But on a serious note, when you when you spread the video, then we're able to to actually impact and teach our people. Okay, uh, the money is not the main thing, but we don't mind the money. Share. <laughs> Where's my camera? Here, or here. Okay, it's here. It's here. Okay. All right. So. Let's go through some of those, those those points where they mount their their checkpoints. So we have PDS Ana Angara. This is Amaraku Road in Isiala Mbano local government area in Imo State. You have the Akachi Junction Akachi Junction in Aba along our Express Way Naze our North Local Government. That's where this one is. Umuawa by Imo Airport Junction Aba our Express Road. This is at Umuawa. Ngo Pala, local government area in Imo State. Then we have the Uguoji. Uguoji. This one is along Oweri on Isha Expressway by Omonoha Junction in Mbito local government area. Now we have um, Oji Isiokwe along Okigwe Omoha Express Road. We also have Omo Omo Alo um, Omo Omo Alo Moke Junction. Uwaku Road along Okigwe Maya Expressway. We have uh, Nunya, Nunya Junction along Okigwe Maya. Obaho, opposite Camp Fate, Camp, Be, Camp Fate Obaho, Okigwe local government area in Imo State. Most of them are in Imo State. Okigwe Uturu Junction along Apsu Road, Okigwe. These are things that people, it's not hidden. People sent these reports. That's why they are documented and the government knows about this thing. And this is not where, it's not like you have terrorism in this place. This is not where terrorists are fighting. This is not where Boko Haram is fighting. This is not where all the terrorists are fighting. No. Beside Apsu Gate, uh, Uturu, Isukwato, local government area in Abia State, Acha Junction, along Mile 2 and before Mile 2 Junction, uh, Amawe, Am Amawe, Amawe Junction, Ubomini Town, along Oweri, Olu Road. Front of Abbott Boys Secondary School, along Oweri, on the Expressway. This one is in Ihiala, um, Anambra State. Opposite Nkwere, local government council headquarters. And uh, Umu, Umueka Junction, along Aba Enugu Expressway, uh, uh, Expressway, Ishialangwa, South Local Government. Now, Imu, Imu River Bridge. You have them there over it, along about over the road in Isha, uh, Isha Langwa South. Tony Mass Junction behind because fast food along Aba Enugu Express. Osisioma, Osisioma, okay. Akozo Nteje Junction along Enugu Onisha Expressway. Amansia, Amansia Uguaba Enugu Onisha Road. 
Okay. Three corner junction. Amagunze. It's, it's good that you're listening though, so that you, maybe you hear they've set one in front of your house. You don't know. Now, three corner junction. Amagunze. In Nkano. This one is my place. New I'm not from Amagunze, but Nkano is my place. New Kenyatta along the Nugu Okigwe Expressway. It took a military checkpoint along Enugu Okigwe. This it took a military checkpoint is one I don't understand. This one is close to UNTH. UNTH is Ituku. But you know how many times they've come into Ituku? They said the people that did that one, they were actually inside there. That's when you begin to see that these military men and uh, servicemen are co complicit in these kidnap cases. You know how many times they've come into UNTH to kidnap doctors and workers inside UNTH? You know how many times people have been shot at just a few seconds of driving away from this checkpoint. This particular one is in Ituku. I know it because Ituku is just a neighboring town to my town, Ozala. This one, I know about that one. Okay, so that's Ituku military checkpoint. They should do something about it. Otu Amech. Otu Amech. Otu Oh, I don't know what this one is. Otto Amech Abani Link Road. Otto. Okay, Otto. Otto. It's an auto market. Otto Amech Abani Link Road. <laughs> don't let me say. <laughs> I don't know what that it sounds like. <laughs> oh, it's funny, though. It's not funny. You. And I'm talking about this on a day when I have beer from my mind. So you understand why. Why I'm thinking, why is it that you have all of these checkpoints? This much in the southeast and not elsewhere, and yet they continue to kidnap people right under the noses of the people in these checkpoints. So what use is that? Umuaba. Umuaba Ihe along Enugu Okiwe Expressway. Nenway Junction along Enugu Okiwe Expressway. Ogumbo. I can open a junction. Uh -huh. And Abia, Enugu boundary. That's where you have Abia, Enugu boundary. You have them there. Better Life Junction up along Enugu Okiwe. This is long ago. Eluama Isukwano beside Commonwealth Hotels. Front of Ehime Mbana local government. Right in front of that place. Um, Ohafia Nguzu Junction, Abreba. Ami Checkpoint, Udi, Four Corner, Nkano. This is the same place, this Udi, Four Corner. They've kidnapped and kidnapped and kidnapped people. I remember when we were trying to, we were indicting the 82 Division person there, the commandant of the 82 Division. We are like, you're there. These people are going to kidnap people. And, you, and military men are posted to that place. So that army checkpoint in, 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 in Udi, Four Corner. That one. Hmm. Then there's army checkpoint in our mode. Nkano West local government in the military checkpoint. Um adjacent timber market in our law. Eka here junction. I hear some be say. Umulolo junction along Port Harcourt. Ihube junction along Enugu. Ihube Kashu Plantation along Enugu. Ihube is such a boundary along Enugu. Oh, this one is still in Ihube. Limka Junction by FGC along Enugu, Ferragman College. I'm a checkpoint. I just went to the house of the Right Honorable Speaker along Omaha, or have you been the road. Joint JTF is Joint Tax Force. That's where you have the military police, sometimes mobile policemen, um, and any other person. The checkpoint at Idima, Idima Abam Road, Arochuku. I'm a checking point in front of Ohafia. I'm a checkpoint beside gate of Ohio Federal Government College. I'm a checkpoint at Iyi Omenoko Bridge, Ozuabam. Military checkpoint in Onoapu. Oh, sorry, oh, if I get it wrong. Onoapu along Oweri. Military checkpoint at Mbirichi, Obinze boundary along Oweri. Then at Umu. Umuo Kanine Junction along Oweri. Emmanuel Aglican Church, Mbidi, there's a checkpoint there. Then the point opposite primary school by St. Teresa's Catholic Church in Ihiala. 
There's, there's never a checkpoint, never a checkpoint to at Okuzu Junction along Oka. Navy, Navy has a checkpoint in Okuzu. Please go and check the map. There is no, 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 there is nothing. There is no, no lake. There is no sea around Okuzu. What is the military doing around there? What is the military doing around Okuzu? Hold on, guys. Let me go and open the door for my girl, for my daughter. Okay, so we are back. Well, let me just a little bit and then we'll come, okay? Mm -hmm. I can't come and kill myself over Nigeria matter. I told you before. Uh, so sorry about that breaking transmission, you know. As a big man, when we chop, I just I just ate pizza. And pizza is something that big men eat. And when you finish eating the pizza, you wash it down with expensive juice. So it's not my it's not my fault uh, and i just have money that's it so mm. ah. money is good though <laughs> i can't come and kill myself for mm. you think i'll come and the be moody and sad because of you you're wasting time okay now um there's army checkpoint that is by e men on call we talked about that uh, um down to the one was opposite the primary school at st Teresa's catholic church we told you about that one and i told you about the one at the Kulobia, the sophia road yes we stopped at the one at umunze Room by North Local Government Area. Yes. That one, uh, the stadium and extort money from people. There's one at uh, Nanka Gulu Road by Rock Tamo Junction in Nanka. There's another one opposite Aguata Local Government Area, Council Headquarters. Uh, anyway, let me not just say that all of them extort money, okay? Because out of every bunch of um, people, there's always a good person. I know there are some fine policemen in um, in 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 Oka that helped me out uh, some time ago. Big ups to them. Big ups to the the commissioner of police in Abia State. He's doing a fantastic job, guys. If you see the young man, call me a young man because somebody that I know. That is how policemen should be. Like if you see this guy, police work will begin to hungry you. That's kind of people that should be there, you know, protecting us. So, a big up to Kenan Wemeli in Abia State. Now, there's, but this time we're talking about police. So, there's police checkpoint in Imo Rivers Boundary, that's in, in Okwa West. There's another one at China Civil Construction Company, that's the CCCC people on Port Harcourt about Expressway. Okay, I understand. Uh, there are white people there. The white, <laughs> did I say white people? <laughs> they're Chinese people there, so they're protecting them. There's one as oil self oil self junction along Port Harcourt. Uh, is it the self self oil self? Okay. There's one. That's one about uh, Okwa, Okwa West Local Government Area in Abia State. There's another one by uh, Primo Primo Filling Station. Please, in the comment section, if you know other checkpoints. Let us know. Let us know so that if anybody decides tomorrow that they should go and monitor these people and make sure they are doing their job, they will know where to go. And if you have any complaint against any uh, military checkpoint, please leave it in the comment section, okay? And if there's anyone that has helped you, if there's any good checkpoint that you like what they're doing, please go ahead and also put it in the comment section. Our military men are also people uh, who we should respect, who we should appreciate, 
and who we should honor when they do good. So please, if there are good cases of um, people in these checkpoints helping people out, please let us know and leave it in the comment section. We're almost done. There's a checkpoint at Gate Flyover by Old Obibo Road, Port Harcourt. There's one at the Chippings Dome along Port Harcourt Abai Expressway. Uh, Coral, opposite Coral Gold Filling Station along Port Harcourt Expressway. China Steel Company along Port Harcourt. I think we already said that. Oh, this is a different one. Then, uh, uh, 144 Battalion Nigerian Army at former Asa High School. Uh, junction along Port Harcourt Abai Expressway. Military checkpoint by Mwiyekwe Junction, Port Harcourt Expressway. Uh, at the junction along Port Harcourt Abai Expressway that Uguna Bo local government in Abia State. There's a checkpoint there. At the front of EEDC gate along Port Harcourt Expressway at uh, the same Uguna Bo local government area. There's another one at Aloji Motor Spare Parts Market, Asa. Nen to along Port Harcourt Expressway. There is one as or at Orata Building Materials Union Market along Port Harcourt Abai Expressway. Another one. There is one at Fox Road Ariara Junction along Port Harcourt Expressway. Uh, Ariam uh, base. There's a military base at Ariam Osaka, one local government area. There's a JTF checkpoint at Ahia Horo Aba South. There is another one at Ungwa Road by Cemetery, another one at Emelog Junction, another one at Obi Akwot Junction in Obo Hill, Aba. There's another checkpoint at Opopo Junction, Obo Hill, Aba South local government area. There's a military checkpoint at Onusorog Onusor, Junction, Onusorog Junction in Amichi Newi. There is a military checkpoint in Egbema Production Center of MD, MPDC in Egbema. There's another one at Zuakoli by Uzitem Road Junction in Bend, the local government area of Abia State. You have seen a lot of Imo and Abia, Imo and Abia. Now, there's another checkpoint at Urban Market along Umahia. There is another one at Oga Junction in Obaru. Another one at Ugo Oyama in Enugu. Another one at Nti, Nti Junction along Port Harcourt Enugu Expressway. Lucy Alangwa is a checkpoint at Arongu Junction along Potakot Expressway, uh, Osioma local government in Abia State. There's another checkpoint at Ihi 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 along Potakot Enugu Express Road, Lucy Alangwa. There's an Air Force checkpoint. By Nigerian Air Force Base along Chasekulu, Enugu East local government area. There's a military checkpoint in front of Peace University along Enugu, Opi Road. There's another one at Ihaka along Enugu, Makoli Road in the Weze local government area. You see, these are the different places that you are, actually this was made possible. The people that provided this, it's not me that went around and collected this. this. But the people that provided list, this list are uh, the, um, what they call themselves. Uh, um, I'll soon tell you their name. It says, checkpoint, please furnish us with the details of any JTF military checkpoint in your area that is involved in this mess of extortion and humiliation. Listen very carefully. They did not tell you to go and review the position of any military man that could um amount to terrorism that could actually amount to a breach of national se national security just so you know that's not what we're saying here we are saying that any place you see a group of military men in a checkpoint misbehaving extorting people hear it very well the key word is extortion and humiliation that is not what they are meant to go there and do you as a citizen you have a right to scream. That's your fundamental human right. You have a right to complain. You have a right to say, look, I saw wrong. So that the authorities that be will investigate. So if you see any other person misbehaving, please send it to... Uh, 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 if you see any other person misbehaving in the South, it's actually in Nigeria as a whole, but especially in the South, is it send 
the details via our email address at Igbo, Igbo Nation Council, Igbo National Council at gmail.com. Who is this Igbo National Council? I hope it's not uh, Simon Ekwa. Or uh, WhatsApp us via 0908539589. Anyway, if you send and uh, you don't like the people, you can stop sending. Okay, but you can also send it to me. If you send it to me, I can also help to talk about it, all right? So, guys, that's what I have for you today. Again, uh, when I was talking about making money with, with the internet, um, I, I, was, I was just trying to, to poke, fun at, poke fun at people who just try to look for my trouble. It is good to make money online. There's a lot of avenues of making money online. Don't let anybody discourage you or talk you out of uh, the fact that there is money to be made online. However, we condemn anybody who goes around spreading fal false and fake news against people, against institutions, against denominations. It is bad. What is bad is bad. So if you're doing that kind of thing, stop it. But if you don't want to stop it, one day Nemesis will catch up with you. All right? My name is Dr. Chidi. Don't forget to subscribe. And but most importantly, most importantly, leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. If you, if I'm warning you, if you share this video, if you share this video and we get comments and likes and then get more subscribers and our, and our income from video increases, you are the one that's responsible. I will hold you personally responsible if you share this video and then because of hearing it will now go viral. You are the cause. Not me, oh. don't come and blame me. It's you that shared it. So if you share it or if you like it or if you make a comment, I will hold you responsible. From Dr. Erica and all of us in WM TV, Toronto, it is me, Dr. Chidi, saying I love you and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye. Okay, so we are back. Well, let me just a little bit and then we'll come, okay? Mm -hmm. I can't come and kill myself when I jam at I told you before. Uh, so sorry about that breaking transmission, you know. As a big man, when we chop, I just I just ate pizza. And pizza is something that big men eat. And when you finish eating the pizza, you wash it down with expensive juice. So it's not my it's not my fault uh, i just have money that's it so mm. ah. money is good though <laughs> i can't come and kill myself for oh. mm. you think i'll come and the be moody and sad because of you you're wasting time okay now um this army checkpoint that is by e men on call we talked about that uh, um down to the one it's opposite the primary school at St. Teresa's catholic church we told you about that one and i told you about the one at the Kulobia, sophia road yes we stopped at the one at umunze Room by North Local Government Area. Yes. That one, uh, the stadium extort money from people. There's one at uh, Nanka Gulu Road by Rock Tamo Junction in Nanka. There's another one opposite Agul Aguata Local Government Area, Council Headquarters. Uh, anyway, let me not just say that all of them extort money, okay? Because out of every bunch of um, people, there's always a good person. I know there are some fine policemen in um, in, 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 in Hawker that helped me out a, a, some time ago. Big ups to them. Big ups to the the Commission of Police in Abia State. He's doing a fantastic job, guys. If you see the young man, 
call me a young man because somebody that I know. That is how policemen should be. Like, if you see this guy, police work will begin to hunger you. That's kind of people that should be there, you know, protecting us. So, a big up to Kenan Women there in Abia State. Now, there's, but this time I'm talking about police. So, there's police checkpoint in Imo Rivers Boundary. That's in, in Okwa West. There's another one at China Civil Construction Company. That's the CCCC people on Port Harcourt about Expressway. Okay, I understand. Uh, there are white people there. The white, <laughs> did I say white people? <laughs> they're Chinese people there, so they're protecting them. There's one at Oil Self, Oil Self Junction along Port Harcourt. Uh, is it the self serve Oil Self? Okay. There's one, that's one about uh, Okwa, Okwa West local government area in Abia State. There's another one by uh, Primo, Primo Filling Station. Please, in the comment section, if you know other checkpoints, let us know. Let us know so that if anybody decides tomorrow that they should go and monitor these people and make sure they're doing their job, they will know where to go. And if you have any complaint against any uh, military checkpoint please leave it in the comment section okay and if there's anyone that has helped you if there's any good checkpoint that you like what they're doing please go ahead and also put it in the comment section our military men are also people uh, who we should respect who we should appreciate and who we should honor when they do good so please if there are good cases of um People in these checkpoints helping people out. Please let us know and leave it in the comment section. We're almost done. There's a checkpoint at Gate Flyover by Old Obibo Road, Port Harcourt. There's one at the Chippings Dump along Port Harcourt Abba Expressway. Uh, Coral, opposite Coral Gold Feeding Station along Port Harcourt Expressway. China Steel Company along Port Harcourt. I think we already said that. Oh, this is a different one. Then... Uh, uh, 144 Battalion Nigerian Army at former Asa High School uh, Junction along Port Harcourt Abai Expressway Military Checkpoint by Mwiyekwe Junction Port Harcourt Expressway uh, at the junction along Port Harcourt Abai Expressway at Ugunabo Local Government in Abia State There's a checkpoint there at the front of EEDC Gate along Port Harcourt Expressway at uh, the same Moguna Bolo government area. There's another one at Aloji Motor Spare Parts Market, Asa Nentu, along Port Harcourt Expressway. There is one as or at Orata Building Materials Union Market, along Port Harcourt Abai Expressway, another one. There is one at Fox Road, Ariara Junction, along Port Harcourt Expressway. Uh, Ariam, uh, uh, base, this is a military base, at Ariam Osaka, Ikuan local government area. There's a JTF checkpoint at Ahia Horo, Aba South. There is another one at Ungwa Road by Cemetery, another one at Emelog Junction, another one at Obi Akot Junction in Obo Hill, Aba. There's another checkpoint at Opopo Junction, Obo Hill, Aba South local government area. There's a military checkpoint. At Onusorog Junction, Onusorog Junction in Amich in Newi, there is a military checkpoint in Ebema Production Center of MD MPDC in Ebema. There's another one at Zakole by Uzitem Road Junction in Ben, the local government area of Abia State. You have seen a lot of Imo and Abia, Imo and Abia. Now, there's another checkpoint at Urban Market along Omaha. There is another one at Oga Junction in Obaru, another one at Ugo Oyama in Enugu, another one at Nti, Nti Junction along Port Harcourt Enugu Expressway in Bisi Alangwa. It's a checkpoint at Arongu Junction along Port Harcourt Expressway, uh, Osioma local government in Abia State. There's another checkpoint at Ihi 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 OG. Ihe Oji, no, no, no. Ihe Oji, along Port Harcourt Enugu Express Road, Nisi Alangwa. There's an Air Force checkpoint by Nigerian Air Force Base along Transikulu, Enugu East local government area. There's a military checkpoint 
in front of Peace University along Enugu, Opi Road. There's another one at Ihaka along Enugu, Macaulay Road in the Weze local government area. You see, these are the different places that you are, actually this was made possible. The people that provided this, it's not me that went around and collected this list. But the people that provided list, this list are uh, the, um, what they call themselves. Uh, um, I'll soon tell you their name. It says, checkpoint, please furnish us with the details of any JTF military checkpoints in your area that is involved in this mess of extortion and humiliation. Listen very carefully. They did not tell you to go and review the position of any military man. That could um amount to terrorism that could actually amount to a breach of national se national security just so you know that's not what we're saying here we are saying that any place you see a group of military men in a checkpoint misbehaving extorting people hear it very well the key word is extortion and humiliation that is not what they are meant to go there and do you as a citizen you have a right to scream. That's your fundamental human right. You have a right to complain. You have a right to say, look, I saw wrong. So that the authorities that be will investigate. So if you see any other person misbehaving, please send it to... Uh, 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 if you see any other person misbehaving in the South, it's actually in Nigeria as a whole, but especially in the South, it says send the details via our email address at Igbo Nation. Council, Ibo National Council at gmail.com. Who is this Ibo National Council? I hope it's not uh, Simon Epa. Uh, WhatsApp us via 0908539589. Anyway, if you send and uh, you don't like the people, you can stop sending. Okay, but you can also send it to me. If you send it to me, I can also help to talk about it, all right? So, guys, that's what I have for you today. Again, uh, when I was talking about making money with, with the internet, um, I, I, was, I was just trying to, to poke, fun at, poke fun at people who just try to look for my trouble. It is good to make money online. There's a lot of avenues of making money online. Don't let anybody discourage you or talk you out of uh, the fact that there is money to be made online. However, we condemn anybody who goes around spreading fal false and fake news against people, against institutions, against denominations. It is bad. What is bad is bad. So if you're doing that kind of thing, stop it. But if you don't want to stop it, one day Nemesis will catch up with you. All right? My name is Dr. Chidi. Don't forget to subscribe. And but most, importantly, most importantly, leave us a comment. Mm -hmm. if, you, if I'm warning you, if you share this video, if you share this video and we get comments and likes and then get more subscribers and our, and our income from video increases, you are the one that's responsible. I will hold you personally responsible if you share this video and then because of sharing, it will now go viral. You are the cause. Not me, oh. don't come and blame me. It's you that shared it. So if you share it or if you like it or if you make a comment, I will hold you responsible. From Dr. Erica and all of us in WM TV, Toronto. It is me, Dr. Chidi, saying I love you and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye bye.